everyone welcome back to my channel i know it's been a while since i did a sneaker related video so today i'm bringing you all a haul of the different sneakers that i picked up from probably like the spring into the summer so these are releases or pickups that i got from april i want to say until now which is july so yeah let's just get right into it the first pair i got were just these adidas slides this is the box that it comes in and um i did get a size seven in them and these are the addy led adidas these are just the black and white ones i do like how the boxes like this like most slides box don't open from the side some of them just open like a regular shoe box but but yeah, it comes with this. This is what it hangs on the like the racks in the store. And this is just how they look in the box. These are a size seven and mean. I did get them in a seven as opposed to like my six or six half normal size because um, a lot of slides do run a bit small and these were not an exception. It's just how they look, but um they do still fit a little snug, so I probably could have gotten away with an eight without the eight being too big but this is just like my exact size so just keep that in mind if you are kind of like in between half sizes go up the half size really comfortable shoe um i did try these on i haven't worn them yet but um i will probably sooner or later i can actually can put them on with what i got on today it's going from like my smallest boxes to my bigger boxes so the next pair of shoes I'm going to show you are these Vans. And these are old school low top bands. Um, these are in the color Flame True White. Which is just orange. And I did get these in a 7 also. Um, well for my, um, for the skate high 8s, the skate highs, I always get like a 6 half in them or a 6. But for the low top ones, I tend to get a 7 because I feel like they are cut a little bit smaller. But this is just how they look. There's just some orange and white vans. And I really do like them. Um, I haven't worn them yet. Everything is still intact. I don't even think I've tried these on. But I know my size in vans because I just own quite a bit of them. And I grabbed these from ASOS. And they were on a bit of a sale. I think these run... For a regular price of like sixty dollars, I got them for like a little over thirty. I think I got them for thirty-two dollars. So that was like a kind of almost a half off sale, which is pretty good because vans don't typically go on sale that much. Just kind of have to catch them when they do. For the most part, they're the standard retail price. Also, keeping on with the vans, these are the old school in nightshade which is like a dark purple same size and everything I actually grabbed these off of Neat Supply Company probably can't see that because it's like an embossed label but this is just what comes with it which I think is cool it comes with a little envelope with it comes with a return thing and it also comes with the return label if you want to return them so they do offer free returns just covering up my address but Yes, I thought that was pretty cool. And these supply it is like a UK based website. So I just went with my UK size. I got these for like $29.99, which was a super steal. And this is how it looks. Same thing. Haven't tried them on. But I will be wearing them. This is more of a fall color, I think. So I probably won't wear these anytime soon, maybe during the fall with like some black leather pants or something but i figure it out but yeah i thought these were cool and it wasn't like a color that i was i would have normally got but for 20 like less than 30 dollars i think it was 29.99 with shipping so yeah for like less than 30 dollars i definitely was going to cop them so check out need supply if you are looking for some deals because i know like a lot of shoe companies and a lot of shoe websites are doing a lot of summer deals right now. So definitely check that out. pair of Vans. These are the last pair that I have to show. These are some of the state highs. And I have worn these. Oh, I did get these in a 7. I normally get them in like a 6 half. But they fit the same. Honestly, when I wore them, I didn't notice any difference. But these are just the red ones. The red high top ones. And that's how they look. 
I still have some time from where I wore them last. And yeah, you can see it's minimal wear on them. You can't probably even tell that I wore them, but I didn't have them on long. Well, actually I did. I had them on all day and I went out with these on. So let me be honest. <laughs> the only thing I will say is that I did notice with these, I guess these are heavily dyed because the shoe laces are a bit like stained like you probably can't see it but they have like a little pink tint to them so i wasn't super fan of that i'm guessing just because it's like a super red shoe i'm not sure i haven't had that happen with any of the vans that i own so but yeah definitely they are a bit like kind of pink maybe i'm just nitpicking but um yeah i probably will take these out and before i wear them again and just wash them because or just buy some new laces. <laughs> Everyone comes easier to me. But not a big deal. I got these for sale also. I think these were like $40. So in their regular like $60 or $65. So another steal I would say. Everything I got pretty much was the deal. The next pair I'm going to show you are these Adidas. And these are the Adidas Young 1. I got these in a 6 half and then these were just so dope to me and I kept trying to figure out like did I want them or not because I, I I just have like a lot of orange shoes like in this haul you'll see that a lot of my shoes have orange in them have orange lipstick on today like I'm really getting into orange but this is how they look and I'm just in love with the shoe I did try these on because I was kind of iffy on like I knew I'm like between a six and a six half, but this shoe, I never have bought this model before. Usually with Adidas, I go with a six, but I got these in a the six half just because I felt like the cut of them, I feel like they may run a bit small, which I don't think they do. I do think that um, once I wear them and, um, you know, walk around them in a little bit, they probably will be looser, but just from the initial try on, they did fit pretty well. It just has like the little yellow and orange colors on the bottom of it the shoe is like a yellow the yellow is kind of bright i thought it was more on the golden yellow but it's a bit bright it may not be picking up but it's kind of a bright yellow it's navy and it's orange so this would be like a good shoe if you're trying to match like a michigan jersey or um some other team that this color matches that's how they look comes with the usual adidas um tags and different things on it but yeah i did i got these from asos as well which is another uk uk based website i did get them when they had like this sale going on so i got like 13 dollars off and then i had um i used my ebay so i got cash back so i saved about 30 dollars or something on the shoe and they retail for I don't know the price on the box I think they retail for $140, $130, something like that. I include the prices in the description box and links also if you could buy them. I know some people ask me about them. I know in clothing, at least when I last checked, they still had them in stock. And um, maybe sneakers and stuff. Um, really a lot of UK websites are going to have them in stock. Not that many US websites. I know Adidas is sold out. I know like Foot Locker, Finish Line, if they got them, they're sold out. But um yeah on to the next these are a pair of jordans um i haven't bought jordans in a while i got these back in what's that may i think i got these in may i don't think it was june it's just how the box looks from the box you know these are jordan ones and i got these in a us eight in women which is equivalent to a us i think six or six half in kids so it's my normal size and these were like my holy grail purchase when I purchased them, of course. They are the satin shattered backboards. And I always wanted the the um the original shattered backboards. <laughs> uh that's like a tongue twister. Satin shattered backboards. But yeah. So I always wanted the original ones, but they of course didn't come in my size. They only came in men's sizes. And I think at that point they were only doing men's sizes, which they do this in a lot of Jordans. Men's sizes typically start at an eight or an eight half, which I can't fit any of those sizes. So I'm only pretty much privy to getting shoes and kids. But um of course they don't come lace, so that's just what you get on the inside of it. Um 
the shoe is completely satin like the toe box area is the tongue is satin and the heel is satin all this is satin the only part you have the tumble leather here goes around here the the um, Nike sign is satin and you have the right here it's leather you can see it's like a tumble leather so yeah it's really like a well made shoe it does come with an extra pair of laces the shoelaces they come with are black and they're satin but they come with these cream ones and these are satin as well so yeah overall pretty dope shoe I'll just take the other one out so you can see them side by side but that's how the bottom of them looks it's like a translucent orange bottom and that's how the shoe looks overall but yeah I am like I was so super excited to get these shoes so a little background these were an extremely hyped release um I originally tried to get them on sneakers no matter how many L's I take on the sneakers app I still try my best to grab shoes on there it was another L took an L on there which I wasn't upset about because I kind of just I expected it and then I tried on I think it was Foot Locker and um, I think it was Foot Locker and East Bay I want to say I tried on and neither one of those worked then I um, got back on Twitter we went on like the Twitter the different Twitter accounts that post when releases come out and they tell you if the shoes sold out different accounts like that and it was like finish last that hasn't been stock just be patient so I said I'm gonna try this again third time's a charm right so I went on there and I just kind of waited waited it out it was just like it added to my cart right away but it just kept pending and pending like the little little um buffering circle on, on the screen it kept doing that for a while so I did that for like probably a little less than 10 minutes then finally it went to my cart I immediately checked out through PayPal and I got my link and I mean not my link <laughs> I got my email and it said that um I got them I got them so I was like cool that's what's up I went through I like to get these shoes <laughs> but I did come across them um I think they did restock after the initial release I'm not sure if they are available online anywhere if they are it's gonna be like stock X and gold and um what's the other one? Oh, and flight club do people still get on flight club i haven't heard of people talking about flight club in a minute i'm sure they do stadium goods stuff like that yeah but they're gonna be overpriced over retail obviously i have had a lot of people ask me if i'm selling these hey, yeah my camera cut off somewhere because of the temperature and i'm gonna have my light on my camera and then i have completely no air on because i want you all to be able to hear me um my camera tends to overheat so that's the sucky thing about filming in the summertime, but I'm just going to keep the ball rolling. So I cut off somewhere, but you got the gist of it. I was talking about the Jordan 1. My next purchase, which I just got these very recently, like a couple days ago in the mail. And these are the Women's Air Max Plus TN. These are in the Black Volt Solar Red colorway. I did get these in an 8.5. Just because I got my Vapor Maxes in an 8.5. I think I showed those on camera. But yeah, I got those in the eight and a half, and I really wanted to um, stick with the same size, even though I haven't worn them. But I did try these on, and they do feel like they fit pretty well. But this is how they look. These are like so dope to me. A voltage color, so it's like this bright kind of neon yellow that fades into this solar red, which is more like a gradient of like an orange and a red together. So it's like a red orange, and the same color right here. I love how the bottom of this shoe looks I just think like even though no one sees the bottom but the bottom is just, like so dope to me and like right here in the air bubble as you can see like the yellow and the red meet up right there I just think that is super cool but um <laughs> these black laces the inside of the shoe it's like that it's satin on the inside of the shoe it just says um engineer for all day every day comfort little Nike logo on the inside but yeah i think these are super dope um i haven't wanted to pair these for a while i feel like i'm kind of narrowing down my list of shoes that i know i want a pair of like i know i still want a pair of mx 270s a pair of 93s a pair of the um 
the Air Max 120s. I was looking those up the other day and I'm just like, wow, like, I would have to probably go on eBay or somewhere just to find some of those because I don't never see them in stores unless they like do this a new colorway or something. I'm pretty much bumped on those or if I just like come across them in like a, a clearance store or something. But yeah, that's going to bring us to the end of this sneaker haul. The next sneaker video I do would be probably like a sneaker talk or some type of back to school related shoe video. So stay tuned for that and Hope that you all like this video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for watching.